question for you all. Are you happy? Yeah! All right, let's do it. play with your kitchen because I have no food or anything to play with are you sure let me see you have no food and you can't play kitchen without food I can't play with you don't have any spoons or utensils or anything oh I'm sorry that's sad well hello Bo what are you doing I want to play darts but I don't want to play darts you want to play darts mm -hmm. where's the darts you don't know where the darts are? Try to play darts without darts. Let me see. Throw, see if you, no, you can't do that. You're sad. I'm sorry. You can't even play darts. Well, hi, Uriah. What are you doing? I want to practice my hoops. You want to practice hoops. Go ahead. I want to see you. I don't have any basketballs though. You need basketballs to practice hoops and you don't have a basketball. Where are they at? You don't know? I'm sorry. That is sad. Hey, what are you doing over here? I want to 
practice drums. You want to practice drums? Okay, do it. I don't have any sticks. Okay, but can't you do it with your fingers? Let me see. Oh, yeah, I guess you do need some drumsticks. Well, that's interesting, guys. So you need drumsticks. You need baby doll. You need basketball darts. Kitchen stuff. All of you guys are sad. I wonder what we're going to do about that. A few moments later. Mm, let's see. What should we do about... Oh, hi! Hi, Lion! Good to see you! You know, the last time I saw you, you were in the lion's tent with Daniel. So you got out! And I'm proud of you for not eating him. <laughs> Alright, so wait a minute. What do you have? You have a bunch of fun toys here. What are you doing with them? Just having a... <gasps> oh! what? I know some kids who would love to play with those toys. Come on with me. Hi, Enora. Hi. Looky here. We have some baby dolls. What do you say? Baby lion. Thank you. He's sharing with you so that you will be happy. All right, let's see what else. Oh, play food. I know who needs some play food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Thank you, Lion. Oh my goodness, now you can play with your kitchen. Oh, Lion Kisses are the best. Oh, don't you love some Lion Kisses? All right, let's see, what else do you have? Darts, I know someone who needs some darts. Come on with me. Hi, Bo. What do you need to play darts with? You need some darts? Look what the Lion has for you. Yeah, awesome. You know what, one of these darts, what do you say when someone gives you something nice? Yell it. Thank you, lion. Yay! There you go, try to throw those darts. The lion is sharing his toys so that you guys can be happy, so we say thank you. Good job. All right, now we can play darts. Let's see, you had some basketballs. I know who needed some basketballs. Uriah, I have a lion here that has some basketballs for you. What do you say? Thank you, lion. That's right. The lion is sharing his toys so that these kids can be happy. Last but not least, the lion has some drumsticks. I know someone who could use those. Come over here to Seth. Thank you. Show us what you got. Good job. All right. Lion, you know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of a verse in the Bible that I was reading about how we can be a blessing to others by sharing. And that's what you did today. You made a lot of kids happy by sharing what you had. Now let's go check that verse out in our Bibles. All right, so I have my Bible here today. And remember that if you need help finding a passage in your Bible, you can always ask your parents. And we are going to be in the New Testament. And the New Testament is always towards the back of the Bible. The Old Testament is at the beginning of the Bible. And we're gonna be in 1 Timothy, which is in the New Testament. So our verse today is 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 18. Command them to do good, to be rich in good deeds, and to be generous and willing to share. So I want you guys to think about that right now. What is sharing to you? Hmm, what is sharing? Sharing to me is when someone gives me something or I give something that's mine or theirs to help someone out, right? And we all love someone who shares. That shows that you have a giving heart. The Bible tells us to do good, that we should be generous and willing to share. Sometimes I get a new toy and I don't want to share it. It's my new baby doll or it's my new basketball and I'm so excited to have it and I don't want to share it. It's all mine. But you know what? That's not what Jesus wants us to do. Jesus wants us to share. 
If I have a baby and I have a friend that wants to play with my baby, I should say, here, you can share with me. Or I'm playing with a basketball and I have a friend that wants to play with me, I should say, here, you can play with my basketball. Because in the Bible, God tells us as Christians that we're supposed to share. And let me tell you something. People love it when we share. Your friends will love it when you share. And you know what? That was just like the lion sharing with all of the kids, right? What were the kids before they had those toys? Were they sad or were they happy? They were sad. That's right. And they were sad because they didn't have toys to play with. And the lion came in and he gave us an example of 1 Timothy 618 about commanding to do good and sharing and you remember how the lion made all those kids feel he made them feel happy because he shared and he chose to do the right thing so i want to encourage you kids out there to look for ways to share how can you share with your friends and your family and even your mom and your dad and and your siblings everybody loves someone who shares we don't want to be that person that is selfish and keeps our things to ourselves. We want to be a Christ follower that does good deeds, that shares and looks for ways to help others, right? So I'm going to pray for you guys this week that God will show you ways that you can share and be an example to others. Dear God, I thank you so much for all my friends today. I thank you that we are able to learn from your holy word about how to love others, how to be an example, and how to share. In your name, amen. You guys have a good week. Love you guys.